Welcome to our family time, Papa. Welcome to our Run Disney Wine and Dine 10th anniversary weekend begins Don't now. get hit by a car. Don't get hit by a car. We gotta go to the expo. It's wine and dine time. I'm just so excited. Sarah's not excited about waking up, but she's excited for the weekend. Oh, wine and dine. Wine and dine. Oh, the Run Disney weekends just stream top top 50 hits of the radio all weekend, don't they? Yeah, for sure. It really is. And Disney remixes. Woo! Here's a line to print out your waivers. Got mine printed out a week ago. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Peter can hardly contain himself. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, 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 so ooh, cute. Ooh, ooh. Look at I'm in all the I'm in almost all the crowds. Wow. Easy. I do wanna ask. Ooh. And we got this cool luggage tag. That is cute. That's your favorite one of the medals too. Yes. And then we're gonna go get our shirts later after we go see the merchandise and they'll rip these top tags off. We always miss the chaos of the merchandise, but oh, I see the medals over here. You wanna go see them? Yeah. Yes, look at the bling. Oh, I think I think, the uh, I think this one is my favorite. The little hankies. And the spinnies. And the five Q's over here. It's smaller than I thought this one, but I really love it still. Oh, is that a blanket? Oh look at this. Every mile's magic. I actually don't like it at all. Sorry. Why not? I don't know. This looks weird. It's supposed to be like sketchy. True. It is a look. I just don't know if it's a look I'm about. It's like this. Eat all the cubs, dream on racing day, dreaming of racing day. Outfit ready, stay hydrated. I like that a little bit. But see how it's like living, yeah. like line work? It's a whole new vibe I, I think they're going for. Okay, here's the 5K fall feast. They start over here all Epcot. And then the 10K. Looks like the same amount as 5K. Right, but you start. This is Magic Kingdom, so I think you have to you have to run all the way. So you don't go in Magic Kingdom Park. Wow. You're just in the parking lot. Yeah. And then you go to Epcot. Yeah. Around like where like of the 5K finishes. Right. Uh -huh. Alright, So again, start in Magic Kingdom for the half marathon. You'll go through the back the back roads, and then you actually like I didn't even know this until a couple of days ago. They'll go through Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios and then make their way through the um, Epcot Resorts area and finish at Epcot. I really got to figure out where I'm going to cheer. Look at how cool Peter is. All the years. Oh, it's a video now. It's a video now. All the, video, all the years. So cool. Have you shown Karen and Kayla? All righty, so we met up with Kayla and Karen now. They are running the 5K with Peter tomorrow, so that'll be a different experience. And this weekend is Kayla's birthday, and we're gonna go to Universal. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> first time going to Universal. Yeah. First time? Yeah. Oh yeah, your very first time. Fashion show, fashion show, fashion show at lunch. All right, here's 5K. I'm yeah. right now. Here's the 10K with Mr. Olaf. Sven. Cute. And we got half marathon. I think I'm gonna wear this tomorrow. Yeah? And then a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Love it. What kind did you get? Same. But what other? Raspberry, Raspberry Rush and Apple Apple. Ooh. Awesome. Me and Karen realized this is what she was wearing when we met her. Really? It is, yeah. And then we were waiting in line for three hours and finally you were like, uh, what are you doing with that camera? And the rest is history. In the steamy, sticky, and it's still steamy and sticky. There you go. It's Things like don't change here in Florida. No, no. Yeah. They have oh Marathon Weekend with medals out. Here's the Press Week Key Challenge. Oh, Pluto 5K. Oswald 10, McDonald half, this whole bit with the Mickey Mini Marathon, the Goofy Challenge, and the Dopey. Okie dokie, another Run Disney Expo come and gone. 
Well, actually, it goes the whole rest of the weekend. We just don't go the rest of the weekend. Yeah. If you were ever curious, it's not just one day. Does it? Does it go through Saturday? The Saturday is the last day. Yeah. So it doesn't open up on the day of the big race. Right. So like Sunday morning as a half marathon, it will not be open Sunday. Okay. And that is for all of the other um, races as well? Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Peter. So now we are headed to Epcot um, to meet up with the Ortiz family, which is such funny timing that we we're finally getting to meet them today because a year ago we surprised them on the vlog telling them that they were going to Disney and that was actually like on my time hop today Aww. that the like they had sent us the video of us surprising them with a trip so we're gonna go meet them and the kids don't know that we're gonna meet up with them either so it's like another surprise why do I smell delicious food right here I don't know but we're getting french fries at some point tonight <laughs> I need six gallons of water as well. Yeah. It's hot. It is super hot. I thought you said a cold front was coming. I thought so too, but maybe it's, I think it was Friday night. Oh. So that'll be good for Saturday. Yeah. And tomorrow night for watching fireworks. But tonight is a sweaty Epcot forever. This is why we did not wait so long the other day. Because there's basically not a line. Shout out to my alma mater, Let's Gumbella. My college program, 2011, fall. Forever and always, my first Disney love. So sweet. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's like a Canadian Mickey. It's all of the pavilions, either Mickey or Minnie. My mom like it's a gets Mickey. <laughs> gets all of like the different holiday Mickey and Minis. This is gonna be trouble. Oh, this is the Thanksgiving one. I'm drooling on one of them a little bit. This is so cute. Okay, so we're going on test track. We've never gone standby. Hello. <laughs> Do you know what ride this is? Test track. Test track. Do you want to tell the vlog your name? Charlotte. Charlotte. What's your name? Yeah. And we know what you want to do with Tom. He said so Tom. He said it. And your name? <laughs> I was shy until I started a YouTube channel. Don't worry. <laughs> You're not shy at all, are you? Jonah, you made my test track experience like none other. He was having such a good time the whole time. He was narrating the whole time. And we got, we beat Chris's car. We lost to Chris by two points, but we beat Sarah's car by like 50. Just, uh, just a quick walkthrough from the Epcot experience. Finding a good bit of air conditioning before we find our Epcot Forever fireworks for the second time we'll ever see this.
We're leaving Epcot. You know what that means. What? Almost nothing lies between us and the next one Disney event. Oh my god. It's kind of silly because it's like 9.40 right now. And we, I want to be back here at like 3.30. I have to look at the like time. Like in this exact... In this exact... Spot. I can see the line of tents where the charities are. Pretty much in this exact same spot in about... What is that? Six hours? Six hours. Hello, my name is Eve. And I'm super, super cute. Give me that. Give me, give me that. Thank you. Go with that. Such a good girl. But we're home, if you couldn't tell. So, also just now, put on my new shirt. <clears throat> this is the half marathon shirt. And because half marathon, I'm going to try to push it. Like, physically, I'm going to try to get my sub two hour half marathon. Um, I'm probably going to wear a singlet. Kind of stressed because I've now trans transitioned over the last few months to I don't even wear a shirt when I run more than six or seven miles and that's probably not a smart thing because now I'm gonna go run 13.1 on Sunday and I think I'm gonna wear a shirt the whole time I think I'd be fine if I didn't wear one um, but I just don't know the etiquette I'd have to look that up but so Kayla and Karen are wearing a blue outfit so since I'm running the 5k with them tomorrow and I think we're doing characters which is gonna be strange for me because I've actually never stopped in a run Disney event for characters but I'm run I plan on running this, but then Karen and I started getting to talking, and we thought it would be fun if they came down to do this, that I would run it with them, and then they decided to book it and sign up for it. And it's going to be a lot of fun, so since I'm going to match with them, I'm going to wear the half marathon shirt tomorrow. I'm not wearing sleeves the rest of the weekend. I'm wearing a t-shirt Saturday and a singlet Sunday, so hopefully that'll be good. But we got to sign off because it is 1040, and we want to. I want to get up at like... 2.30 or 3. Probably 3 because I'm not, I'm wearing this. I'm wearing a whole blue ensemble. This, this, blue shorts, my blue shoes. Blue, dabo, di, ba, du, ba, du, ba, bo, di, ba, bo. This clip's getting very long. And Sarah's gonna love editing it tomorrow. But here's the message. Halloween. The last day of our, oh, this is a long one. Sarah planned this to give me this one. This is by Birdsley Jones? Beardsley? Beardsley Jones. Who are you? I need to research. You have this one life. How do you want to spend it? Apologizing, regretting, questioning, hating yourself, dieting, running after people who don't see you? Be brave. Believe in yourself. Do what feels good. Take risks. You have this one life. Make yourself proud. Sarah spilled Eve's food. One of those instances like when you spill coffee where you jostle the mug just a tiny bit and coffee pours everywhere and you look back at the coffee mug and almost none is gone but your entire house is flooded <laughs> I hate when that happens I hate when that happens at work because then everyone's just like why I is this know I don't drink coffee everyone's like why is it smell like coffee and they used to be like sorry that was me I'm cleaning it up spritz break spritz spritz we're signing up over here because I think we did this when we were not vlogging last week yeah we hung our hats finally yeah we're trying to be H I P P S T E R hipster. Did you say two P's? Yeah. There's only one P. We're so hipsters. Two P's. One <laughs> for Peter, one for Penelope. Who's that? I don't know. Maybe that's a future child of ours that we just met through the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy Spirit of the hipsters. <laughs> um, so, thank you, Ortiz family, for hanging out with us. I'm yeah. so glad to finally meet you. You guys were a riot. Yeah. Fun hanging out with Did we say that they're all vegan? We have in the past because we, we ruined um, them with the, <laughs> the pop tarts. Um, we might have mentioned it in the past, but they totally inspired us, and they're yeah, they motivate us totally like, like their whole family is whole family, all the kids, all the yeah. parents, all the everybody, all the ghosts. <laughs> yeah, they had shirts that said like <clears throat> vegans, vegans assemble and like uh, like playing on Avengers assemble. Yeah, it's cool. Anyway, it's like 10.40. we got to go to bed. <gasps> I'm thinking at 2.30 or 3 a.m. wake up out the door by 3.30, but I think I want to leave at 3. I don't know. We always get there too early. I know, but I love it. It's part of the thrill. I like to be there before bag check starts. If we get there after bag check starts, I want to cry a little bit, but I'm a diva. It's good uh, to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>